12 hours in Paris. Now we're getting on our plane to Cairo, Egypt. Some really cool things coming on along. This what is my childhood wish? My dream. My child is happening right now. Right now. How about a really nice seat to take you out? Okay. Hey, I see our name. Right there. Jason and Rachel. Alright, we got to our hotel. Look at that. Look at that. Arms went off at six o'clock and six thirty in the morning. We didn't know what was going on. We were really tired. Now it is time to go to breakfast, and our server just totally stayed out of getting in our shot. That was amazing. <laughs> okay, let's go get some breakfast. All right, our favorite thing about traveling internationally is buffets. <laughs> I'm so excited. There's to the see honey. Here. There's the honey. Do you see it? Yes. Food is blowing our minds. Oh my gosh. And our server guy. He's so nice. He's so like kind. He's like, oh, do you want to try this Egyptian specialty? And then he makes us, and then he comes back, would you like to try this kind of Egyptian specialty? And we're like, yes. Just one. He's like, only one, not two. We'll share. You will want to. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cool. He's so cool. So we've got a couple more minutes, and then we have to go downstairs, meet our tour guide, Mina, and our driver for the day. And there are some incredible things to do. So oh, I can't even go over all of this. No, it's incredible. And they have a huge jug of pure strawberry juice behind you. What is happening in this country? Oh, I love good food. So our guide for the 45 minutes it took to drive here told us about the papyrus and how it's shaped in the form of a triangle or a pyramid and how the pyramids, oh, I wish I could show you. The sun rays right now are making a perfect triangle right next to the pyramid. It's so, so interesting. We are on our tour with our private guide. He says we are gonna go. We're climbing up the pyramid and we're gonna go through an entrance that was carved out by a ruler in the 10th century because he couldn't find a way in. He couldn't find the main entrance. So he carved his way in for what, 25 meters? So much. And found the center, and then that's what we're gonna go do. This is the tunnel that he carved. Even you have to duck. Oh. It is way far up there. So that was the little tunnel, which was intense. I'm sweating from the tunnel. This is the great hallway. Now we're going up to the tube. And back to crawling. How you doing, Rach? The later kings of Egypt stopped making massive pyramid tombs because they realized People kept raiding the tombs. You showed them where everything was. So where we're gonna go after this is to all the buried tombs, the ones they did underground, to hide themselves from raiders. So them, their stuff, everything could go with them. And when they're reincarnated, could come back to it. And now we're crawling back out again. So some people in that crunchy part stopped to take a photo. We we're dying. All right, we survived. Now, we're going to see the other pyramids. So Salah I think it was 11th century. He came and stole all the smooth rocks from this to build his palace. But he died halfway through the second pyramid that he was taking the rocks down. So that's why it's still smooth at the top. So I'll go show you that. So this is the other pyramid I mentioned. He passed away half through, halfway through taking the stone. Look at how smooth that is. That used to go all the way down. So I want a little bit of new school and a little bit of old school. So right now we're gonna start with the old school. You know what we're gonna do? What are we gonna do? We're gonna ride camels yeah. to see the pyramids. That's the best. Look to my right. This is my camel, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Just a second. So Rachel, 
Jason are doing a thing, riding camels in the Egyptian desert by the pyramids of Giza. Ta da! I'm gonna fall off because I'm going no hands. Oh my gosh! So what's crazy is, this is the body of a lion, but lions were lazy. So they put a human head to get rid of the lazy mentality. This whole thing was one piece of rock. 2,000 years later, one of the other kings said, well, it's all deteriorated and the wind and the water, it's worn it down, so they put bricks around the outside of it. So now they're restoring it to what it was done like that. So this is what this pyramid looked like with its complex and everything around it. But because they weren't wealthy anymore, this is what it looks like now. And the thing is, this one looks the worst on the outside, but let's go look inside. It's very small. It's how much I have to tilt down, and it's a long walk. This was like a lock slide off a certain way so it wouldn't come off. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine? This one's 5,000 years old, 4,800. Look at that. And he built it in stages and he kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It's pretty cool, huh? This is the first So we hustled through some of our other stuff today specifically so we could come here because there's some really cool stuff I want to see in this museum. Dead kings. I'm Way just cooler than that. Watch this. We decided not to ride four wheelers around the pyramids because it wasn't near the pyramids, it was out farther in the desert. We decided to boat into the sunset instead. Is that a good choice? Oh, this is gonna be amazing. We decided, now he's famous. Salt and cumin. Boom. There's garlic, lemon, and vinegar. Enjoy. There we go. So we are doing an authentic night. Oh, yeah. And yes. Enjoy, man. Thank you. Shokran. There we go. So we've got a couple more stops tonight. We're doing only authentic food in normal places. That's how we do. We are on the street and we are going to do sugar cane juice. Sugar cane juice. Honey, just sugar cane grinded wow. into juice. It's like sweet and not tart. It's mellow. Oh my gosh, that's my favorite beverage ever. Alright, look at that line. Ice cream shop. If you guys have followed any of our journeys, you know we love walking the streets of the cities at night. Ice cream is next. Do you want to go wait in that line, honey? It's all for you, baby. Totally gelato. Super good. So we woke up early, but our flight was canceled. So then I slept a lot, Rach worked a lot, and now we're finally boarding our flight to go to a place called Aswan. But guess what? We're going to 
Luxor, and we are getting on a river cruise boat. Our guide would be here. So we're gonna exit the airport. Maybe he's out there. Well, a lot of other guys. guys. A lot of other guides were back there, but none for us, so. All right, so before we get on our boat, we heard about this organic spice market. This whole street is filled with spice shops. And these are the raw spices. And we love cooking with this stuff. So Rach is already in there haggling. Where are we now? We are on the Nile on a boat cruise. What? Let's go. Look at this. You're walking towards the sunset, honey. I know, I love it. We are at a outdoor market at night because it's too hot in the daytime. So everybody oh, comes out at night hot to right. shop and to do all their things and it is awesome. Early morning. Are you ready for this? Look at this place. We, we are on the Nile. Have another crazy adventure. Let's hop on a boat. Fight of religions over things, right? Look at this, all the faces chiseled out so they won't be resurrected. All their feet so they can never walk to heaven. And they literally went this whole beautiful, incredible room and took them all off, except a few. All right, 107 degrees. We're out hiking. Hi, how you feeling? So we are in this granite quarry because there is a multi-thousand-year-old obelisk. You see it right there? And it cracked during production, so it's still here. And we really wanted to go see it. So we are gonna go see this obelisk, right? Those really tall spires that go up and have everything written, like all the cool things the king did or what happened to their people. Okay, this is really cool. So you see all these notches right here? And there and there and there all the way down so they would take like volcanic rocks like that and they would etch out these small things they fill with sandalwood and then they pour water in and the sandalwood would expand 10 times and after 10 days they said it would pop and the whole piece would explode and pop the rock off so had this one been finished it would have been the biggest obelisk in the world but you see that crack somebody got fired Look, you can see all the marks. They carved something massive out of here. And these are the little tunnels underneath so that the people could get underneath it and start carving from the underneath and from the sides. So this is the part we don't normally do is relax. So now we're starting to cruise the Nile for four and a half hours. And then we'll stop at another ancient temple. We'll learn, we'll do all the stuff. They're gonna bring us lunch up here. So this is a relaxing part of the trip and mama is on. Look how incredible this place is. So giant. The detailing is so amazing. So this is in between all the blocks. They put cedar wood, water. The cedar wood would expand just enough to hold it. And there's 3,000 year old cedar wood holding this wall still together. It's really hot up there, but look at the temple up there. And we had them make us limeade with mint. It is delicious and there's no sugar in it. I finished mine. So they bring you a thing of sugar and you sweeten your own limeade. So now we're waiting for the sun to go down and we're gonna go up there and watch the sunset through the temple yeah? Yeah, it's cool. It's so cool. Well, I'm up here on the top of our boat eating a breakfast of champions. Dates and peanuts. A little bit of sweet, a little bit salty, lots of energy. And we are going to Edfu, another ancient Egyptian temple. 
and civilization they've uncovered to go and learn more. I have learned so much on this trip. These guides that I got have been incredible. They have more information than I can even keep in, so, which I like, because I love history. Just here, under the moon, sun's coming up in about three minutes, eating breakfast, and then we're getting on horse-drawn carriages. Look at this, we're getting on those to go to the town. What? Rach, what are we doing? No idea. <laughs> but it looks cool with a horse. Went to make up breakfast in our uh, <laughs> our horse-drawn carriage. Yep. And now we're going back to our boat to eat breakfast in all this crazy traffic. <laughs> Alright, so we're in the lock. The gates are right there, and they're about to start draining the water. Look at how low that boat is compared to us. But we're way above this bridge. We're gonna get that low right underneath the bridge. And now we're low enough, we can go underneath this thing. That's pretty crazy. And our journey continues. Just left the boat again. All right, so this is the Karnak temple and it's just huge we're not even gonna give you all the crazy 160 acres and biggest temple ever largest gate with cedar wood they had to go and take down the Nile but it was too heavy had to use a hundred oxen to open their gate only once a year this is Karnak temple so excited to be here I'll give you more details in a minute. so it's true it's very hot coming here in the summer but do you hear or see any people with us no, I don't. I just see Sam, our amazing guide. And there are people way out in the distance. There's nobody where we are. So we travel off season all the time because of that. Oh my goodness. Deep dig of this in. Oh, this is so cool. And again, look at all this amazingness, like the skirt and the details. Holy cow. Luxor. We're on the bottom, right? There's pillars, all the cool things, awesome statues. In the 11th century, the dirt was up there. That was the floor. That is a guy named Yosef. That's his place. All of this was covered. That's why a lot of this isn't chiseled out. A lot of it's still put together. A lot of these things were untouched. That's pretty crazy thinking that below, all this incredible stuff was just hanging out. Another adventure. Here we go. Just getting on the boat. Walk the plank. <laughs> Walk the plank. There we go. Welcome. I need to the driver. This is the Temple of the Queen Hachutsop. And there are tree roots right there that are 3,000 years old that show that this was actually super green and lush. The Nile was right there, and now look at it. Isn't that crazy? Other cool thing, they uncovered this sphinx two months ago. That's it, and that one, seven months ago. Because they were scanning from helicopters, they found them, so they brought them up, put them down. Her son was so mad that she sent him away to school. When he came home, he chiseled out anciently everything about her and her entire journal. I mean, in my yearbooks, there's a couple of people I didn't like that I put X's over their faces, but I didn't chisel out their entire journal and history. Valley of the 
Kings. Which is incredible. So many of the Dudes. kings are very unique. Right now, King Tut or Tutankhamun's tomb. Look at this valley. How would they know that there's all this stuff down here, right? I think after the pharaohs or the okay, word pharaoh, Tutankhamun was like the famous king that you hear of. So yeah. I'm excited. Let's go. Okay, these are really steep stairs on top of the rock. And we have to keep going down. You ready for this? There we go. At least we're not squatting, right? Yeah, that one was hard. <laughs> So the body's covered because the guy Carter, who discovered this, actually kind of ripped the body apart. He cut it into 17 pieces to remove the rings, remove the mask. He was trying to remove stuff and it was all attached to his dead body. So people in England think he's a really big celebrity. People in Egypt think he's just another tomb robber. So I don't have an opinion, but holy bananas, look at this. Tut's tomb right now. Look at that. Now this is Ramsey's number five. And six. And his son decided his dad built such a cool one. Figured he'd go inside of it. But yep. now, what's cool about this one is the Book of the Dead is written all the way until the end. Does that mean what's going no, it means we're going to understand life and eternity by the time we're done. Okay. They showed the guard my time lapse video, and he said that's the most beautiful time lapse or video I've ever seen. So he pulled us on the other side. He let us get up here into the tomb. What happened in Egypt stays in Egypt. It's the guard who told us to, so... All right, Rach is already ahead of me down the steps. You ready for this one? This is untouched. Nobody scratched off. Nobody. This, this was opened a year ago, but it was only open to the public one month ago. Ramsey's number one. All right, last leg of the journey, honey. Last day here. Woo! You ready for this? Yeah, maybe. Alexandria to visit one of the seven ancient wonders of the world. This will be number five of the seven that we visited. Yep. Okay, we are now in Alexandria, Egypt in the oldest library in the world. Mm -hmm. it used to be biggest library in the world. It burnt down a few times. Uh, Caesar accidentally burnt it down when he came to town with Cleopatra, I guess. But now we are in the ancient books area. This is really cool. And manuscripts. It's crazy. So if you know us, you know we're nerds for this kind of stuff. So that's what we're doing to end off our trip here. We have one stop left and then we wrap it up. Which table is yours? Oh. Is that your table? Look at this view. We're eating our last meal in Egypt, right in front of where the old lighthouse, the Alexandria the lighthouse, and lighthouse. the library is just over there. I can't believe Chase totally pulled off this giant surprise. <sighs> which has been mind-blowing. Every location that we've been to is so incredible. It was so relieving to finally get it going because I have been worrying every conversation I got with anybody, I was so worried people were gonna blow it. So, <laughs> we're here, we're done. Thank you guys for watching. We'll have tons of links down below of all the places we went, the tour services we used. They were fantastic. They were fantastic. They, they were so kind. What? Everyone was so helpful, got us everywhere we needed to go. Yep, what an incredible awesome. country. Thank you, Egypt. This was fun.